You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob, and you're listening to episode number 389. Thank you guys again for listening. Please leave us a review, or if you have a question, go to askdroneu.com. If you're not a Drone You member, I highly recommend you become one. Why? Well, because you're going to know a lot more than other people. And I will say, I've been flying with a lot of new people recently, mm-hmm. and everyone has their quirks and their yep. tendencies, but you really need to be aware of every system and how they operate and the problems that can happen so that you can mitigate the risk, mitigate those problems, operate just about anywhere that you want to, but most of all, meet your client's needs with confidence and conviction. That's what Drone You is all about. Yeah, we like to say that trial and error is not a strategy, it is insanity. Insanity. And so at Drone You, our goal is to eliminate the error because we've done all the trial, as have the people in the community that you'd be learning from. So join those folks. They're good people. I really do love that community. Anyway, let's get into today's question, which is brought to you by Charky. If you love jerky, you want some nitrate-free, gluten-free, awesome lamb jerky to keep you satisfied while you're in the field, check out ranchlineallnatural.com. My name is Robert. Um, I just had a a quick question here. Um, Since the 333 is going to be phased out, um, and it's just going to be the 107 that does not require a uh, full-fledged pilot's license, um, I'm just wondering if there's going to be any benefit to to being a pilot, a uh, you know, in the air. Uh, pilot, um, whether that's uh, a private pilot or having a sports license or whatever, is there any benefit to that in the industry of drones um, anymore? Um, is that going to give you an edge in the industry, or are you just going to be able to do everything you need to do with the 107 uh, pilot's license? Um, so I guess what I'm asking is, do I need to continue risking my life of flying a powered parachute um, which is really scary, by the way. Um, if, do I need to continue doing that to get my um, uh, pilot's license, or should I just stop that altogether? Appreciate you guys. You got an awesome show. Thanks. Robert, that's awesome. First of all, thank you for the question, and we do not advocate risking your life. No, but I would say <laughs> flying a PPC is pretty fun. It's yeah. kind of boring after a while, but I don't know if it's risking your life. You know, it's interesting because I would probably respond more like Robert did to that whole process of being up in the air with that fan. That's it's true. like just a big fan. Yeah, but you're under a parachute wing, so true. if you lose the fan, you're still getting to the ground just fine. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's Nonetheless. why. That's why I'm like, I don't know how you're risking anything, but well, if you're up in the air. You're always it's risking. It's one of the best feelings in the world. No, I'm sure. I'm it sure. is one of the best feelings in the world. I will uh, just to answer his question very bluntly. I was going for my powered parachute certificate. Right. Um, I have stopped doing that. Right. But I do think that there is tremendous value in going to a ground school, which is normally part of getting your PPC license. Getting your ground school Hmm. is going to significantly help you out, significantly help you out in understanding all the information that's coming out with 107. So you're going to know about airspace, you're going to know about ground crew operations, you're going to know about all that stuff. But not necessary. No, not necessary, but it will be an intensive training. It'll get your mind in the right place. You'll be focused. So, but no, it's not necessary. Honestly, I know a lot of powered parachute pilots, I just learned this a couple weeks ago, who are not even accepting drone operators anymore because I heard Hmm. a story where a guy essentially was going for his PPC license and, uh, you know, they were trying to get him to pass the check ride and he just did not respect the system. He didn't respect the powered parachute or anything. That's too bad. Kind of poking fun at it along the way. Well, yeah. Disrespecting. Oh, well, no. So here's the story. So after they finally got him to pass a check ride, which took like five, six hours, which normally only takes an hour, um, uh, the guy, the CFI comes back with a student and uh, the main instructor is like, all right, come here. I'm writing up your pilot certificate, blah, blah, blah. And the guy straight up says, beep, you. Like, what? Yeah. Why? Handing him his, his certificate. And he's literally telling the guy, 
use your imagination. It starts with a F, ends with duck, and uh, you. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, so, and he goes, ever since that, and the guy yelled it in my face multiple times. But why? What was the, I mean, there has to he be more to that story. He was frustrated with how much time the whole thing took. He was getting pounded with information that wasn't necessary for him to fly a drone, and he just thought it was useless. And I agree with him. There are many times that I want to tell my instructor the same thing, but I never did it because I had respect because they're human beings. Well, yeah, know? number one, they're human so. beings. So a little respect goes a long ways. But in respecting their experience, their knowledge and understanding, you go into the process knowing everything that you've said. You're not going to need all that information. You're doing it as a means to an end. That's all fine. Suck it up. Get it done. Learn what you can yeah. and move on. Yeah. Well, because of that one story, that particular instructor, no more drone pilots. Uh, see, that's a bit of an overreaction. Eh, that's like that's, that's the government right. creating some new law because one guy did something. I mean, that's... Uh, that's geriatric America. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anywho, I yeah, that's a bit, of a, a bit of an overreaction. So to answer his question, you've already gone through the ground school. You've gotten the good information out of it. I don't know if it's really necessary to continue on getting your pilot's license. Um, you know, there is one cool thing. Like, we were offered a job, and we're working with a team now, and this guy has his license. And he goes, well, you know, instead of driving over there, we could just fly the Cessna and get there really fast instead of taking nine hours to drive it. And I'm like, huh, really? Really? <laughs> We'd, we'd only be gone one actual day, not two for a one-day job. That's and he's nice. like, yeah, and you only have to pay to rent the aircraft while it's being operated. So it may only take you a one-and-a-half-hour or 90-minute flight both ways, so three hours, but you're there 20 hours. Right. You're only paying for three. Yeah. That's awesome. No, that is awesome. Of course, to be able to fly that plane, you've got to get a different license. Yeah, it's You're not, not going to a... get a powered parachute license. No, a powered parachute <laughs> isn't going to get your drones to the <laughs> job site. A, a bit of a step. <laughs> I'm going to stick the drones just, in the back and I'm going to sit in the front. You just hold the bags out here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that would look. Oh, uh, you might be at the... Uh, how much can those things carry, by the way? Normally about 2,000 pounds. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So quite a bit. Well, he also asked the question... Do I need the 333, or is somebody going to need the 333 to do most of what they need to do, I think is the verbiage that he well, used. Well, the 107 covers just about everything that's right. in the 333. Um, you know, the 333 has great benefits if you're flying over 55 pounds, if you're flying in restricted airspace regularly. Um, you know, but otherwise, I would say 107 with some really good... Um, if you've got COAs in restricted airspace, if you've got a COA to operate from a moving vehicle, you don't really need a 323. I don't understand why you would need a drone over 55 pounds to film, photograph anything. Right. I just don't get it. There are the old, the, the reds and all those kinds of cameras that are much heavier, right? But yeah, are even those over 55 pounds? No, you're, you're, you're talking 25, 30 pounds tops. Okay. So, and I mean, like, honestly, the level of productions that want that is very, very high. And most of you are not even going to get to that level. I'm it's like to, making it to the NBA. Yeah, I'm trying to stay away from that level because yeah. there's no you you never have the volume of jobs to do those all the time. And with how DJI has progressed with the X5, the X5R, mm -hmm. you have something that's get up and go in a few minutes that can get great cinema quality footage um, without putting a red or a hundred thousand dollar camera in the sky. So. Most producers are realizing this. Most producers are also realizing with the smaller birds, mm -hmm. they get lower, closer, tighter shots. Right. So I'm seeing more divergence away from those super heavy payloads. Right. So just because of convenience. Producers, you know, they're very unorganized. So when you're on set and every, they're trying to get everyone together, you know, you're literally the last person to say, okay, get in the air, let's go. You need to be, go, be able to go boom, 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 up in the air. Yes. Flying. Yeah, not, it makes a lot of sense. Not I'm setting my drone up for three hours because that guy gets fired, and I've seen that happen time and time again. Well, and those cameras that you're referring to, they can cover probably 90, 95% of what these movie studios even are going to want. Is that yeah. accurate? Yes. Normally, you're flying the bigger cameras to get higher resolution at higher frame rates, so 4K 120, you know, slow-mo in 4K. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I get, the, I get the reason for that. I totally understand the production value. I really do. Um, but right now, the stuff you can get out of the sensors that we have is really good. Cool. Really good. Very cool. So the bottom line is that Robert should not continue to risk his life. <laughs> Go ahead and lay <laughs> no. off the 333, right? I mean, I think that's what we're saying. Unless he's trying to do some operations, you know. 
Yeah, and that's one of the things August. he didn't mention is what kind of work he likes to do or wants to do. So that pretty pertinent information to ultimately answering this question. But the majority of what one is going to want to do, the 107 will cover. Yep. I think so. Cool. Just make sure you file for those COAs after you take your test. That's all I got to say, which is really, uh, really important. Um, so, I, you know what? Let Really, really quickly explain why those COAs are important. Because with 107, you can only fly in, I think it's class G airspace. Okay. So if you're flying in D, C, or B, Bravo, Charlie Delta, you need a COA in order to fly in those. Some airports will let you have an open COA. Some will not. Some will let you have an open COA, but always call into ATC. Some will even say, you don't need a COA. Let's just do an LOA. We'll take care of it right now. Hmm. So, um, But don't expect that. Do not expect that. Yeah. yeah. That's if you took the guy out to lunch and made friends with him. He's probably going to say that to you. More so, than once. So take the baldies out to lunch. Take care of them. <laughs> throw them a 50 under the table. We'll always take free lunch. That's true. I need to eat lunch. On that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. (laughs) My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Don't forget, if you have a question, go to askdroneyou.com and upload it. Anyway, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Bye.